So here we have both the toothbrushes here. These are just the bristles. Now what we do is we take our PVC pipe and we figure out how long these bristles are, or how long the head of the toothbrush is. We take that mark right below it, and this is where we're going to cut. Here's a piece of PVC that's been cut. As you can tell by hand cutting it, it's a little uneven. It's smaller on one side and larger on the other. What you want to do is figure out which side is the widest side, or the longest side. That's this side. So what I'm doing is I'm basically lining it up, making sure that it is the highest side, and then I'm just cutting it. Try to make this cut as straight as possible. You could use a saw for this as well. So now that we have our cut, take our heating trough and we're going to heat this up. I'm heating it up. Take this, take our 2x4, you want to open it up over the 2x4, and you want to squeeze the sides. And one way to do this more effectively is to actually use a couple of pieces of scrap. You can see that? So we're basically making an arch out of this. You want to make sure that it's even on both sides. And you want it to be about, let's say, an inch tall on the inside. So here we go. So you just hold both sides like this until it sets. Here's the main body of the rest. Now what we're going to be doing is actually gluing the toothbrushes into this. So what we're going to do, really simple, I'm going to be using hot melt glue. You can use any kind of glue you want. So I'm just going to heat this up. Here's my heat. Not enough to deform the toothbrush, but just enough to warm up the glue. And you take it and you place it inside on the top. Like so. There's the first one. So here are both toothbrushes glued into place. We we'll take this, put this on top of our 2x4, and you can see how this is going to sit. So if you have a bolt here, it's actually going to sit right inside of there. And no amount of shaking or even turning this upside down is going to move this bolt at all. Now this is going to take a little bit away from the speed, but it will add a lot more stability. And then when you fire, the feathers will come through just fine.
So now what we're going to do is cut a slot for the top so that we can just drop the arrows straight in. Alright, what I've done here is measured at the center and then quarter of an inch from each side. So this is half an inch total. When I cut this, there's going to be a half an inch slot where the arrow can come in and then it's going to be held in by the brushes. So I'm just going to cut this real quick. You can use a saw. I'm just going to be using the PVC cutters. 